I understand uh, the, uh, the view that some people might have, that I knew this was all about to unfold and that's why I walked away. Nothing could be further from the truth. I could not have anticipated in my worst nightmares uh, what would have unfolded over uh, the past few weeks. Uh, I believe the SNP, uh, notwithstanding the, the real difficulties uh, that surround uh, the party just now, is in uh, good shape and I think Hamza will take it to even better things. But are you saying you didn't know? Is this your worst nightmare? Uh, look, the last few weeks have been very, very difficult and I don't think anybody would believe me if I said uh, anything other than that. I've had you know, many difficult periods and a political career that has lasted uh, over several decades now. I think you can uh, safely say that the last few weeks have uh, been amongst the most difficult. But it is what it is and I accept that, I accept the process. I hope uh, to be able to uh, stand before you, well, I don't want to overstate it of course, uh, standing before you is always, uh, uh, I won't say what standing before you always is, but I hope to be able to stand before you and address many of these questions fully. I can't do that just now for reasons you understand. I also hope to be able to you know, put a counter to many of the things that are being said right now, but I'm going to respect the process that is underway, that's not uh, something that will surprise you to hear, um, and in the meantime, I'm going to go on with doing my job, uh, representing my Do you intend to stay? Yes. Did this exactly. play any role in your decision to quit as First Minister? No, it didn't. Um, the police investigation was underway, it was known about, um, so there was no secret in that. The reasons I stepped down as First Minister were the reasons I set out in Butte House in the middle of February. Of course, I understand that people are now looking back at that and saying, well, was there something more to it? There, there wasn't. If you are saying to me, uh, back then, or at any time until it happened, I could have anticipated uh, what happened what, almost three weeks ago. The answer is, is no. Um, I didn't and, and couldn't have done. So were you surprised when the police arrived on your doorstep then? Um, I think you can probably take the answer to that, Jess. Have you had any discussions with Hamza Yusuf in particular about your membership in the party? Uh, no. Have you sound very emotional? How does this made you all feel? Uh, look, it's been... I don't, I don't really want to get into this because it is not, this is not an opportunity for me to say, you know, poor me for, for this. This is a, a serious process. You know, obviously serious issues are being looked at and, and I respect and will continue to respect that process every step of the way. But, you know, clearly the events of the last few weeks have been difficult. Um, and I use this word uh, advisedly and deliberately, in some respects very traumatic. Uh, but I accept that is the nature of the process that is underway right now. Um, and I will continue to take, you know, each day as it comes, I will continue to go on with doing my job and I hope uh, to be in a position at some stage where I can talk uh, more openly about all of these different issues, the detail of them and how it has all been. Did anyone in police...